Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jersey Zone. Last night there was a 59 page Fanatics merchandising catalog that was leaked to the public that may give us some potential information on the upcoming jerseys next season. Now of course like every single leak this is unconfirmed so it's possible some of the stuff in this document may not come true by the time that the Fanatics jerseys do actually roll around but for the sake of this video and for the sake of having fun I am going to treat it as the truth but just to let you guys know take this with a grain of salt. But the information included in the document is the possible pricing of the jerseys, the different jersey lines that Fanatics may make, as well as the possible designs that we'll see next season as well. So we're going to go through all of this catalog with you guys. Before we do so though, if you're new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so we're into the document here. And if we scroll down a little bit, the first thing that I want to talk about is that start ship date, which is September 1st. Now, I'm assuming that means like that is when they'll be able to ship to customers, because if not, I feel like that is fairly late in the game. But yeah, it appears like September 1st is that start date for buying Fanax jerseys, if you are so inclined to do so, of course. I know some people are super against that, but you know, if you want to, September 1st appears to be the date, but let's get into the real meat and potatoes of this document here, and that is the different jersey lines. So we have six different jersey lines that Fanatics is coming out with, and let's start off with the one that I think people are most excited about, which is the Authentic Pro Jersey. So it looks like Fanatics will actually be making retail authentic jerseys, which I am very excited about. Of course, you know, Adidas never made those retail authentic jerseys, the retail made in Canada jerseys. So the fact that Fanatics is bringing that back is a huge plus in my eyes, and we can even take a look at the description here. So fabrics, components, and branding are the same as the on ice jerseys. And something that I find very interesting is that they say that it's offered in an authentic team specific home colors. For some reason, it wasn't letting me highlight there, but yeah, they only say home colors. They don't say away or alternate or anything like that. So to me, that reads as only the home jerseys will be available. I'm hoping that's just a first year sort of thing and that they, you know, kind of build on that in the future seasons and actually get the other jerseys made as well, because if it's only the home jerseys, that will be quite disappointing. That is for for sure. Um, some other interesting notes is that the embroidered fanatics flag patch with that, I'm wondering, you know, what is their flag patch? Is that just, you know, their little branding right here? Like, is that what they consider their flag logo? Because, you know, obviously when I think of a flag, I think of it like an actual flag there. So I'm hoping that it is just this little patch right here, because if it's more than that, I will be a little bit disappointed for sure. And then also it says holographic NHL shield. And I don't know if that's what they mean, like just with like, you know, the regular metallic shield that's on the Adidas jerseys. I've always just called it the metallic shield. So maybe they just are using a different terminology and calling it holographic definitely possible for sure. And then at the bottom here, it does say sewn down tackle twill with HD embroidery. Now the HD embroidery, I'm hoping that that is the kind of 3D embroidery that is on the prime green versions of the Adidas jerseys, because that's one thing that I am quite concerned about with Fanax jerseys is that they are going to kind of regress with that logo there and go back to the same type of logos in the Arrow Ready in the Climalite Adidas era. Uh, not that those logos are particularly bad, but since we've upgraded with the prime green to those 3D effects, they look really nice man and I absolutely love those logos so I really do want Fanatics to keep that and I'm hoping the HD embroidery is basically just kind of a different way of saying that and of course we don't have any pictures as of right now of what the jersey is going to look like so that is all confidential uh, with the sizing sizing is actually kind of interesting so they are keeping the 44s and the 42s but they also are introducing a size 48 now not that size 48 is new for the NHL they've used it in the past but I'm very intrigued to see, you know, what they are going to be, you know, kind of labeling all of these sizes now. Like, is size 42 an extra, extra, extra small? And then a size 46 is the extra small and size 48 is the small or is that now a medium is the size 48 a medium and then the size 50 goes to a large or is this some kind of like in between? Don't really know. Definitely interesting for sure. And then the last point that I feel like most people are probably going to complain about is the pricing. So they are going to be going up for $425. Now, I will say this. I do not know whether this is in Canadian dollars or American dollars. I've seen people say both things, you know, and these aren't just random people. They're connected people. You know, I've seen people say they're in, you know, Canadian dollars based on my experiences and people that I've talked to. I've seen other people say, no, it's in American. And for myself personally, I do kind of think it is in American just based off some of the other prices that we see in this catalog here and we'll get to those in a second but yeah if it is in american dollars so 425 american that is 580 dollars canadian that's a lot that's a lot of money and i would not be able to afford one of these jerseys that would be way too much for me especially if it is just a home jersey 
I, I wouldn't be, I, I just couldn't do that. Like that's just way too much. The only time that I would buy something at $580 for a jersey, it would have to be a super special jersey. Like one that I just absolutely adore and it's a special jersey, like it's a alternate or something like that. Um, it, yeah, at $580 Canadian, that is definitely out of my price point. That is for sure. Although I don't really ever buy my jerseys at full price anymore anyway. So it's not like my philosophy would really change on that with these jerseys here. That being said, 580 still a lot of money. Let's move on to the next line though. So these are called the premium jerseys and that is what is going to be replacing the Adidas jerseys that we have right now, the Indo Adidas. And you can even see that it has recycled polyester, which is what the prime green is. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be a whole lot different. It's going to be offered in team specific home, road, and alternate authentic colors, a sewn down tackle twill with HD embroidered crest, shoulder patch, and name and number, which is all good. It's good to hear that, you know, they are embroidering the shoulder patches there and that it looks like they are going to be also using the twill with the name and numbers and not using the vinyl like, you know, Adidas did for so long. I know a lot of people are really concerned with Fanatics bringing down the quality, but at least from what I've read right here, it seems like it is going to be pretty much the exact same as the Adidas jerseys, which is what has been rumored and kind of talked about is that there isn't really going to be too many changes, at least for the first couple of seasons. Another great thing though is the pricing of these jerseys. Well, the price isn't that great, but it's the fact that they're staying the exact same. You know, $180 for a blank jersey, $230 for a player jersey. That is really good to hear because I was very nervous. You know, I, I've seen basically Adidas Canada over the past couple of years raise their pricing on their jerseys a couple of times. I think they're up to $230 Canadian for a blank when they used to be $200. So I was very, very nervous that Fanatics would be doing the exact same thing, but it seems like here it's just going to be $180 for a blank, which is also, you know, kind of going back to the authentic jerseys, why I believe that $420 price is in American and not Canadian because these prices here are definitely in American. These aren't Canadian prices, that is for sure. So that's why I believe that this price up here is also in American. That's just my take. Like I said, it's kind of unconfirmed. We don't really 100% know, but that's what I believe. Anyways, yeah, happy to see that the price did not change because that was definitely something that I was worried about. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at our next one here. So this is the breakaway jerseys. So of course, just the current Fanatics line. They're keeping it. They're not really making any changes, at least from what I've seen. You know, we do have a picture here. We didn't have any pictures with the previous ones, but that's because we know what the Fanatics breakaway jerseys look like. Technically, you know, with these other lines, we don't really know what they're going to look like. We assume they are going to be pretty much, or at least I assume they're going to be the exact same, but just instead of an Adidas logo in the back, it's going to be the Fanatics logo, but technically they could be slightly different. Uh, anyways, with this Fanatics line here, yeah, I don't think they are making any changes. Heat pressed uh, twill crests, shoulder patch, name and number. However, it does have the fan flex crest uh, that moves with the fan is they're kind of phrasing with it. Basically for me, it means a really shiny crest that folds easily, but just looks really bad and is not good. It's not a good crest. I really do not like these Fanatics breakaway jerseys. I think they're kind of awful to be completely honest. They do have the same price point as they do right now, the 135 blank, 175 with the player. So that's still all in good. That being said, those pricing, way too much. They are not worth 135 and 175 American. For me personally, a blank jersey of these is like worth like $50, maybe $60 Canadian. I wouldn't really pay any more for Fanatics breakaway jersey because they're really not worth it. But, you know, that being said, at least they do have that second layer, you know, the basically the premium level here. So it isn't just the breakaway jerseys and then the, you know, authentic pro jerseys. I'm glad that they have that middle ground jersey with the premium jersey here because if they did just have the breakaway jersey and then let's say the authentic pro, that would be not good. I would really not like that. So it's good that they do kind of have that middle ground with the premium jersey because these breakaway jerseys, not a fan of. The fourth one that we have here is the men's vintage jersey. So this is just basically the Fanatics vintage line that they've had for a couple of years. And it is a little bit different than the Mitchell and Ness Blue Line series. And Speaking of, there's kind of news on the Mitchell Ness Blue Line series that I was going to make a video about. However, there was a tease a couple of days ago talking about something coming up on April 9th. So I'm kind of waiting on that. And when April 9th rolls around and I see what it is, I'll probably make a video about those Mitchell and Ness Blue Line series uh, again. But anyways, going back to this here, yeah, just the Fanatics vintage jerseys that they've made for the past couple of seasons. Doesn't really look like anything is that different. Um, it seems to be basically the exact same. It still has that fan flex crest like it does on the regular Fanatics jerseys. I do have one of these jerseys. It is a Hartford Whalers green jersey. It's the, the only compliment that I can really give the Fanatics jerseys is they are very soft. That is really the only thing that I can say that is positive. Outside of that, I'm really not a fan of these jerseys. Once again, way too high of a price for these jerseys. That being said, 
it's good that they're staying the same and they aren't kind of moving that price point, but it's still way more than I think they should be. Um, and yeah, I'm really not a fan of how these jerseys are constructed. That being said, one thing that I do kind of find interesting with this, uh, you know, kind of stock picture here, whatever you want to call it, the collar itself kind of looks like it is almost a sweater type collar, which we have not seen, or at least I haven't seen on any of the vintage uh, jerseys from Fanatics yet. So I don't know if that's just kind of like a weird kind of error from just the way that they rendered this or exactly what's happening there. Uh, but yeah, at least from this render, it does seem like this jersey in particular has a sweater type collar and if some of the fanatics vintage jerseys have that that would maybe entice me a little bit to actually get one of them because I really do like sweater type collars I think they're a lot of fun uh, I would still obviously wait until they go on sale that is for sure but yeah kind of cool nonetheless the next line that we have here is the practice jerseys now a couple of things that are sort of interesting this one does say 2023 which makes me think like that this catalog here is maybe made in 2023 so maybe it's a little bit older which would make sense because you know we actually have access to it obviously it is still for the 2024 2025 season but yeah i just found it interesting that it says 2023 right there in the style name i do also find it interesting that it appears that they are selling these jerseys at a retail level i just didn't really think that they would uh but of course we do actually have a picture of these practice jerseys now i'm sure most of you guys have already seen this because it was in an aesthetics video i think probably three or four weeks ago now i thought about making a video on it but I just never did. So I guess I can give my opinions on this practice jersey here. I'm not a fan of it. I really don't like it. I don't like these gray little splotches right here. They almost look like eyes and are kind of weird and freak me out a little bit. I just don't really like them. And I also am not a fan of the logo. So the way that the logo is made is a silicon heat pressed with high gloss, which I think is how they're made with the Adidas practice jerseys as well. They are kind of cool. Like they are very shiny. That is for sure. The thing that I don't like about this logo here is the property of Pittsburgh or the property of city name, you know, whatever city name, obviously, depending on the team. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. I am not a fan of that. Uh, definitely would not be buying one of these so I can have property of, you know, Toronto on the front or property of Dallas on the front. Like, I'm okay. I don't really need that on my, you know, jersey. I'm I'm good. Uh, I also, I mean, I wouldn't be buying these anyways because they retail for 120 American. That is a lot of money. Uh, super, super lot of money. I don't even think I would buy one of these for like $60 Canadian. And that is the wholesale price in American. So yeah, definitely would not buy one of these, that is for sure. They're just not really made for me, I guess. Never really been a huge fan of practice jerseys anyways because they always are a little bit bland, of course. So yeah, I, I do kind of just find it interesting that they are selling these jerseys. And of course, they do also say that they're offered in the team's primary colors. So, you know, maybe a Toronto one would be blue. Maybe that would look a little bit better depending on the gray and how that would look. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, still not really a fan of these ones. Definitely would not pick up one of these retail jerseys, that is for sure. And then the last line that we have here is the women's jerseys. Um, you know, I'm not obviously really super familiar with the women's jerseys, but from everything that I've kind of looked at here, it seems to be the exact same as the current women's product. Uh, same price, looks to be same materials, same kind of way of making it, same design, everything like that. Um, so yeah, not really much of a change. But let's go ahead and take a look at the designs of the jerseys we could be getting for next season. Now, of course, these are in the Fanatics Breakaway template and not in like the premium or the authentic pro that I would like to see them in, but it still gives us an idea of what we could be seeing for next season with the jerseys. So the first interesting one here is the Anaheim Ducks orange third jersey. That was not used this season because of the 30th anniversary jersey coming in. So it looks like they will be bringing that back. And to add on to this as well, I did make a video a couple of months back talking about a rumor that Fanatics might not be making third jerseys for the first year. Well, with this document here, it seems like that report was kind of false. And also on top of that as well, with the release of the Cali Finn third jersey for the San Jose Sharks and the Tampa Bay Lightning third jersey as well, they both stated in their release that they were wearing those jerseys for a couple of seasons. So that does also kind of disprove that report as well. So yeah, it does appear like we are getting third jerseys and we can see the Arizona Coyotes. They are bringing in their third jersey as well. With the Boston Bruins, of course, they are going back to their standard home and away jerseys. That was kind of known that they aren't keeping their centennial jerseys. It was kind of a one and done thing. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit so we can see that the Carolina Hurricanes, they have a confidential jersey here. I'm assuming this is the White Whalers jersey that was released this year, and the reason that it's confidential is because it wasn't released at the time of making this catalog. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit more, uh, we can see, you know, nothing really too new here. The Minnesota Wild, you know, that is also a confidential one, probably just their third jersey, the reverse retro that kind of turned into the third jersey uh, with the New York Rangers, obviously their new third uh, with the San Jose Sharks. 
their new third as well, Tampa Bay Lightning, their new third, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the St. Pat's jersey that was just released a couple of weeks ago. And then the last one here is the Winnipeg Jets. I think this is probably their RCAF jersey. I can't think of anything else that it would be. But yeah, for the most part here, it looks like we aren't really getting any new jerseys, which was kind of the rumor. You know, it didn't really seem like we were getting any new jerseys outside of, you know, of course, the specialty game. So the Winter Classic, as well as the Stadium Series, those are going to be new jerseys. We'll probably get some anniversary jerseys as well that are just not shown in this kind of catalog here. But for the most part, it does appear at least that we aren't getting any new jerseys outside of, you know, kind of the specialty jerseys. I do also want to take a quick look at the Fanatics vintage jerseys that they've kind of put in this catalog here. So some of these I do recognize from like previous uh, ones that they've done before, like the Chicago Blackhawks, as well as this Gordie Howe one. Uh, but ones like the Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche, I don't think I've seen before. Also, though, with that Chicago Blackhawks and the Red Wings one, uh, they do, once again, seem to have that sweater type collar, at least in the render here. And I don't think it is just a weird render because with some of the other ones, it doesn't have that sweater type collar. So I'm intrigued. Like I said, I'm very, very interested to see how those end up looking and if I maybe will cave to get one because I do really like the sweater type collars. Uh, but if we go down a little bit, we can see some more designs here. You know, like I said, some they've already done before, like these Kings and North Stars and Canadians. I don't think they've done the Kansas City Scouts, so that is neat. Uh, but then they also have the Fisherman and the Wave jerseys. They do already have a Dark Fisherman one, but it seems like they are going to add a White Fisherman as well as a White Wave jersey. And, you know, like I said, I wouldn't buy any of these because I really don't like the quality. I've already you know, with my Whalers one, I see that I just would not like any of these jerseys, but it's at least neat to have, you know, for people who maybe don't care as much about the quality and don't want to wait years and years and spend tons of money, like, you know, maybe myself on my authentic Fisherman one, they can just buy this one here and spend a little bit less, not have to search for ever to try and find it. So, you know, it is an option. Obviously, I would like better quality with these ones so people don't have to kind of skimp on the quality just so they can get the jerseys, but it's still nice to have these kind of throwbacks here. And, you know, they do also have a Washington Capitals with the Capitol building logo, which is very, very neat as well. Now, technically, there is a few more things that we can go through with this document, but honestly, the rest of it is just a bunch of different t-shirt designs, hoodies, and sweaters, and stuff like that. And I'll be honest, I just don't really care enough to kind of go through and show you guys all of these and take a look at them because... They're fine. They're just shirts and sweaters. I don't really have a huge opinion on them. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys there is still some more stuff in here, but it is just shirts and stuff. The jersey stuff is over. So yeah, that was most of the documents there. My main takeaways are, it seems like the price is staying the same. We're keeping third jerseys. Not much else is changing, except for the fact that we are getting retail authentic jerseys. And I feel like that is kind of the main headline to this document here, uh, to this catalog, is that, you know, a lot of rumors were kind of circling whether Fanatics was actually going to do it or not. And it looks like they are going to be doing it. So yeah, I know people are very, very excited, myself included, even if it is quite expensive, probably out of my price range. I'm still happy that they're doing it. The only thing that kind of worries me is I really feel like the price of these jerseys is going to go up by the time that they actually reach the stores and they go on sale and everything like that. I just don't really see it in today's world where they just stay the exact same price. You know, just looking at everything, how everything is going up. I mean, I don't really need to get into that. It's not, it's not what this channel is about. But anyways, yeah, I, I feel like the price is going to change. But let me know what you guys think about this uh, document in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Let me know what you think about the authentic jersey and everything like that. Uh, and if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all my social medias. That's going to do it for me though. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.